What's doing? Welcome to another episode. This one's going to be a little different, a bit more of an informational one about mod plates. Let's go and have a look. So what we have in here is a Prado. This Prado has just come up from an ACT. Uh, so he's getting roadworthy and it has failed due to seating. So if we look inside here, we can see on the compliance plate, rated to seven seats. So we have two in the front. So we have two in the front, three in the back, and nothing in the back. Right, so a very common thing is these uh, wagons, Prados, Land Cruisers, patrols, all those things, take them out and put drawers in the back, converting it from a seven seater, an eight seater, or whatever it may be, down to a five seater. To do this legally in Queensland, you need a mop plate uh, to convert for obviously seeing capacity. Yeah, so we need to uh, mop plate this to make it legal in Queensland to register in Queensland. So pretty basic to do here in Queensland. So you leave seatbelts in, you just have to have all the seats removed and any holes that are going through the floor to atmosphere outside, letting air in will have to be blocked so bolt, hold, bolt them back in. This one has a complete drawer system. Like I said, seat belts have been taken out, so you completely remove them all together, but you can leave them in. Uh, but this one's completely never going back to five seats again, because obviously you've got drawers and a fridge and everything inside. So what we need to do is a mod plate, which is what we've done here. Uh, we attach that to the vehicle. And over here, over here I have a certificate of what we've done, saying it's gone from five seats down to seven. So that's a pretty basic one. Other ones you need uh, mod plates for uh, fuel tanks. So if you have a long range fuel tank, or you add a sub tank, or you change to a fuel cell. Uh, the other things you can need them for are diffs, gearboxes, engines, turbos, superchargers, uh, seat changes, uh, engine combinations, there's all sorts of different things. So I'll go over and show you another car and show you different things. So this one here is a HK. It has an LS, it doesn't come standard with an LS. Has a 4L80 and has a 9 inch. Uh, we have done disc brake upgrade front and rear, so it has more plate for all those things as well. Uh, so that's that one. Here you can look under the car. I haven't done this one yet, this is the VL which you've seen earlier. It's got disc brake, it's got a 9 inch, it has a turbo 400, or a turbo 400 uh, barra conversion and turbo. So all these mods need to be done, but we run a factory tank in this one. So that's running factory tank. If I was to run a fuel cell, that would have to be changed. Other things that are common as well are this HK he has a bench seat. Uh, you can get these in single seats from factory. So we could have put this back to a single seat driver and passenger, and then that would have changed to the seating capacity and also needed more plate for the seats. Things that don't need more plate. So if you're doing a, uh, well, they've just changed the LS9, LS10 laws after yesterday. Uh, but our lift kits you don't need any for unless you're going up above two inches. Uh, there is LS9, LS10 where you can basically do a four inch lift now. Uh, you can do, I think off the top of my head, is a three inch suspension lift and a one inch body lift uh, legally now with an LS9 and LS10 code. Uh, roof racks, you don't need anything for the roof racks, you don't need anything for wheels and tyres, uh, you don't need anything for uh, like coilovers if you have a drift car. Coilovers aren't needed for a mod plate unless it's not a bolt in if you have to actually fabricate something. Uh, so there's lots of different ins and outs. Engine conversions we need to talk about. So if you were to put a you know, V8 diesel into this Navara here, for instance, uh, you'd have to look at weight capacity of the car, what it can take is versus weight power versus weight. But we also have to look at the weight of how much weight the front portion, like the front suspension, can take as a load. Uh, so there's lots that go into it. Uh, but if you have any questions, give us a yell. Other things, bulba doesn't need one. Light bars don't need one. Snorkels don't need one. Uh, any other tour bike accessories don't need one. Canopy doesn't need one. Uh, side steps don't need one, but it's just the modifications you do to a car which change it from obviously a five seater, oh sorry, seven seater through to now a five seater, uh, fuel tanks, all those sorts of things. All right, that's it from us on the mod plates pretty much. Just a couple other little things I didn't talk to you about before was uh, camper vans. So here we have a high ass van. Uh, this can be mod plated into a camper van. It's obviously going to go from a goods. Oh, it's actually got a decking out in the back, let me show you here. So this one could now be classed as a camper van if we were to throw a bed in here and some storage. Uh, that then will take it from a commercial carrying goods car through to a, mo a motorhome slash camper van. So that would need a more plate as well. Um, if there were seats in the back, we could do a seating reduction down to two. 
uh, or three or wherever it may be. So there's a little bit more involved in them. You do need fire extinguishers, seating plans, storage fridges, all those things, whatever. Uh, but any questions on my plates, give us a yell. 549-14626 and we can talk to you about my plates. Uh, there's heaps. Give us a yell. Cheers.